You would know that it was completely silent out here five minutes ago and now we apparently have some weird tapping going on in the blower, so hopefully you can hear me over that. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Gail. What's up, Doug? Good to see you. Good morning, David. Good morning, Michelle. Oh, it is unreal morning. This is just unbelievable. There's barely a cloud in the sky. The weather is perfect. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Barb. Oh, it is so good to see everybody. So good to be with you this morning. So good to have an opportunity to just love on one another, pray for one another. Um, you know, I, Jenny, thank you. Yeah, the ambiance is fantastic. Uh, my, my, you know, friends over here just getting it done, get, doing some yard work. So, um, Julie, good morning to you. Oh, it's so good to be with all of you. And Mexican Monday was amazing. Uh, I just to be honest with you, I try to figure out any way almost every day to make it a Mexican something. Taco Tuesday, um, you know, whatever Wednesday, uh, taco salad Thursday, fajita Friday, um, salsa Saturday. I mean, I can just keep it going, right? So, oh, uh, well, it's good to be with you. Hopefully, yesterday you saw my post. We're just gonna continue as we walked through the Beatitudes, we're gonna continue just walking through the Sermon on the Mount, continue to just. Uh, see what Jesus here in this sermon, this uh, largest recorded sermon, his longest sermon, which makes me feel good as a pastor, uh, that's in the four gospels to think about just spending time dwelling on each section. And this morning, really popular common section where it says, you are the salt of the earth. And then it talks about what if we've lost our saltiness, that then he says, you're the light of the world and a city on a hill cannot be hidden. And Sometimes I think maybe if you've grown up in church or maybe you have read that a bunch or some of the more common pieces of scripture, what will end up happening or at least happens to me is I actually breeze past them. Yeah, salt and light. Yeah, I know that. What's next? Give me something new. Give me something different. And so sometimes I'll, I'll want to consult outside resources just to help infuse or inform me and not just to inform my head or my mind, though that's good, but really to challenge my heart and uh, the message by Eugene Peterson is one of those things you've maybe heard me talk about that's just an excellent sidekick to your Bible reading. And in it, he talks about how our job, the reason he says this, he says, let me tell you, this is Jesus speaking, let me tell you the reason why you're here. I don't know if you've ever thought about that if you're a believer. Why did you not meet Christ and immediately go to heaven? Like, why stay here? Like, what's the, the point if ultimately glorification is in heaven, if ultimately our fulfillment and completeness is in heaven, then why wouldn't a good loving God take us there? And I think it's that it's clear throughout scripture that Jesus sends the Holy Spirit to dwell in our heart that we may then be him to others, to love people and demonstrate what it's like to be in connection and community and then to connect to Christ. So Eugene Peterson puts it this way, he says, this is the reason why you're here. He says to bring out the God flavors and to shine light on the God colors. And it's interesting because as I've thought about that, I've thought about the way that we are oftentimes as Christians is we flee the world and confront the world. But in reality, it seems that Jesus is saying, here's what you bring or what you contribute to the world. This is how we're gonna cultivate. This is how we're gonna love on people is we're actually gonna make them salt and light do two things. Salt brings out the flavor of food. It makes us more aware of how awesome that steak tastes in the fajitas, of the way that the, the, um, it brings out the flavor that we smell in the vegetables and light shines in the darkness. What we can't see, it makes us aware of that chair is right there or this um, thing is hidden over there. Or, oh, here are where my keys are. And so salt and light, they don't do anything in and of themselves. In fact, if you just ate a bunch of salt, it wouldn't taste very good. And if you were just staring into a light, you actually would go blind. But when you think about what they actually do is they contribute to what's already there. They bring it to the surface. They make us more aware. And our role as Christians is not to save people. Our role of Christians is not to be God. Our role of Christians is not to be the Holy Spirit. It is not my role as a husband to be the Holy Spirit to Lynn. It's not my role as a father to make sure my kids get saved. That's God's job. But my role as a Christian, as a believer, as a husband, as a father, as a pastor, as a citizen, 
is simply to make people more aware of God. And so who is this God that I'm making them more aware of? Is he argumentative and points a finger and wags it and says, no, 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 no. Jesus was a much more known as a friend of sinners than he was a confronter of Pharisees. And so today, how can I befriend sinners? How can I demonstrate the love of Christ to others? How can I be full of grace and mercy? How can I maybe be inclusive and listening? Because I know this, that the Holy Spirit who dwells inside me, I'm not afraid of hearing someone else's opinion because ultimately I want to know their story because I want to see and bring to light and make them aware of God in the midst of their story. See, because God's at work in all of our lives, even before we're a believer. Today's my 20th spiritual birthday. I've been walking with Jesus 20 years. I met him on a hill in Lynchburg, Virginia. And since then, my life has been forever different. and gotten progressively better, not materialistically, not even necessarily experientially, though I've been unbelievably blessed, but just in the depth of understanding more and more, yeah, the gravity of my sin, but God's joy in forgiving me and welcoming me into his family. And so today, what if it was somebody else's spiritual birthday because of the way that you welcomed them in their home, in your home, the way that you were able to show, give them a cup of coffee, the way that you were able to just sit and soak in and um, just commiserate with their pain, empathize with their pain, pray with them. And here's what's really cool is I didn't even mean for this to happen, but I had an appointment last week that got postponed to today. And I mean, with a young man to talk about how he's met Jesus just in the past couple months and his desire to be baptized coming up here in, in September for us. And so it's just kind of one of those weird fitting things where you go, God, that's a weird coincidence. But today would be my spiritual birthday and I would get to spend time talking with him about his spiritual rebirth. And so I just want to pray alongside you for Jesus to really move in our hearts to help us see people as he sees them, to treat all people with dignity and respect, and in that, that we would make them more aware of our loving, gracious God. Father, thank you that saving is not our job. Transforming is not our job. Sanctifying is not our job. Father, we can, can't even get out of our own way, God, but thank you that your Holy Spirit lives inside of us. Thank you that you created us and you know us better than we know ourselves, God. And Father, that you have done the work for us, that you haven't just bridged that gap and atoned for our sin and redeemed us, but God, that you continue to transform us. And so God, I pray you make us more and more aware each and every day. Help us to see you more and more each and every day and help us to share you more and more each and every day. We want to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Help us to bring out the God flavors and the God colors in people's lives. We love you. Thank you for loving us. And it's in your son's name I pray. Amen. Praying for you. Pray for me. Love you guys.